The New Orleans Pelicans go against a juggernaut for the next two days. Let's dive into this juggernaut on the Pelican Scoop. Cue the music. Oh, the buzzer got it! This is the Pelican Scoop with Jordan Kitchens, breaking down everything under the sun about your New Orleans Pelicans. Smash that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to stay on top of your Pels content. Now running point, here's Jordan. What is good, everybody? Welcome back. How are you doing? How are you feeling? We are back again with another episode of the Pelican Scoop with your boy, the most with the host. I said the most with the host. The host with the most, Jordan Kitchens. And ladies and gentlemen, like, comment, subscribe. Y'all heard the music. Smash that like button. Do whatever you got to do. Sit tight because we're going to dive into your New Orleans Pelicans. And they play the Golden State Warriors for the next two days today on Tuesday and tomorrow on Wednesday at back to back. So we'll see if Zion plays in both games. I don't, I don't think they're doing the back to back little ordeal with him like they did last year. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how tonight goes. But, but before I even dive into that, ladies and gentlemen, there is something drastic you guys need to know. You probably saw it from the thumbnail itself, but yeah, Steph Curry, as reported by Steve Kerr. Steph, uh, Steph and Melt will both be out the next two games, and then uh, they'll both be reevaluated on uh, Friday, Thursday, Friday. Um, Wiggins is questionable, lower back strain tomorrow. Yeah, Steph Curry and DeAnthony Melton are going to miss tonight's game and tomorrow's game. That is huge. And Steve Kerr also had this to say about Andrew Wiggins. And, um, you know, not only are we going to be without Steph, but we'll be without DeAnthony Melton and, and Wiggs tomorrow night. So a chance for that depth to, uh, to, to, you know, get their opportunity. And I'm excited about that. Okay, so, Coach, you're confirming that Andrew Wiggins will not play tomorrow night. Is that right? Most likely not. Yeah, I mean he's questionable right now. I, I, I'm, I, I would say he's he's. Uh, There's a good chance we keep him out. It's early in the season. Um, you know, I, I just we'll, we'll we'll leave him as uh, as questionable. But um, you know, I'm I'm sort of planning to play without him. And as you can see, he, he's basically saying, yeah, Wiggins is not playing tonight, but he might be a go for Wednesday. But you can count Steph Curry and Anthony Melton. They are out of the lineup, and that is. That is the most important piece of this puzzle. Important piece of this puzzle. Steph Curry, he has an ankle strain, a penereal strain to be exact. Something uh, He had twisted his ankle. And it's crazy that he's made it this long with these ankle problems. But Steph Curry, if y'all ever see Steph Curry, he has like these robotic giant ankle braces on his ankles. I don't know how he still rolls his ankle or whatnot. Granted, Steph Curry, he's a lot of running around and doing all that. So I'll... I'll Occasionally, you will. It will happen. That's just human nature. It's human. Unfortunately, Steph Curry is human, yes. And the Pelicans will not have to see that on Tuesday and Wednesday, which is a blessing in disguise because let me just, before we dive into certain players I want to look out for on the Warriors, let's just look at this, right? So we only have a three-game sample size right now, and two of the games Steph Curry finished. He, he didn't finish the last game, which they ended up losing. But the Golden State Warriors, listen to these stats. They are second in the NBA in points per game at 23, well, 123 points a game. They are sixth in field goal percentage. They are third in three-point percentage, and they are second in assists. And they're like, oh, yeah, you know, it's the Warriors. They're supposed to be, you know, high powers. They have Steph Curry. They shoot the ball. Klay Thompson's not there no more, but they have a guy named Buddy Hill. So, yeah, Jordan, of course, like, they're supposed to do this. Well, check this out, too. Defensively. The Golden State Warriors are second in holding opponents' points per game. So they hold, they're the second in the NBA at holding point, opponents to under this amount. Like they only hold opponents to 100 points per game, right? Second in that, they are second in field goal percentage. They are first in three point percentage. So these are defending, not hitting this. Like they're defending these shots. So they are second and first in field goal and threes. They are first in the NBA in steals. And they are first in the NBA in rebounds with 54 a game. I'll interest, you, I'll interest you this. So defensively, before we go into offense, the Pelicans, they are 15th in points per game. They are 15th in a field goal percentage. They are 10th in three-point percentage. They are third in steals, and they are 25th in rebounds. So you have a 25th rebounding team versus the first. So this is going to tell us everything that we need to see. That if, 
This is going to be a lot of Messi, which I'm assuming is going to be a lot of Messi this game, both games, because Kevon Looney and Tracy Jackson Davis. Yes, Tracy Jackson Davis, high energy guy. You know, the lob threat that they needed. You know, Looney's really, he's not above the rim type of player. He, he's Looney. He's going to get a lot of rebounds. That's really what Looney's out there to do, is get a lot of rebounds and set screens for Steph, but you have no Steph Curry. But there's a guy they need to contain. No Steph Curry, no Klay Thompson, but you have Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill did come back down to earth last night. Well, whenever the last game the Warriors played against the Clippers, he only had eight points. So he did come back down to earth. But right now, he's currently averaging 19 points a game, basically 20 because 19.5, uh, 52% from, the, from field goal, and also 52 from three. So, yes, he's hitting 50 from both field goal, like not threes, and threes. He had 22 against Portland. He had 27 against Utah when he also shot seven for nine from three. He had eight against the Clippers. So, he, yes, he's come back down to earth. That doesn't mean that he won't fire right back up at home, Golden State. So, I'll, I said in my last video that, you know, usually when teams are at home, role players play a lot better. You know, the team plays a lot more loose. You know, you get to sleep in your bed at night. The, the home crowd behind you giving you juice. Granted, this is not the old Warriors, like the Oracle Arena back in, I said the back in the day. I feel old saying that. But back, you know, 2015, 2016, when – Third quarter come, they hit a couple threes, it's over. You can just count the game over. So they're not, you know, Chase Center's okay. It's not Oracle back in the day where it was like a death trap, but it still will be rocking, especially if they're hitting shots. It's all about stopping them from hitting shots. It's plain and simple. It's the Golden State Warriors. If you want to beat the Warriors, you got to stop them from hitting threes and assists. They're second in NBA in assists. So that means a lot. When you think of Steve Kerr and his system, there's a lot of great ball movement, a lot of screens, a lot of it's just freelancing. I wouldn't say it's freelancing because – you know, Steph Curry's really the only one out there freelancing, running around. Everybody else is kind of in a structured system, whatnot. And no Andrew Wiggins. No Wiggins, who's been playing great this season. Had, you know, he was going through his trials and tribulations the last couple of years with his family situation and whatnot. But this year he's been playing great ball. So he might, he's going to be out tonight, confirmed, out of Steve Curry's mouth. But Wednesday, we'll see. We'll see. So you shut down Buddy Hill, which might be a lot harder to do, but you also have a Herb Jones. Pelicans have Herb Jones. Not many teams have a Herb Jones. It would be nice if we had a DeJounte Murray, but you have a Herb Jones. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just go out on a limb right now and say uh, Willie Green is going to put Herb on Buddy Hill or find some type of way to, like if they're doing a lot of switching, have Herb on the guy that's going to get switched on. To, so if that's just me if I was the coach. I'm putting Herb on Buddy Hill all night, both nights. All right, score on Herb. Let's see if you can get that. You got to watch out for, you know, Jonathan Kaminga, Moody, uh, Moses Moody. They have not... Kaminga's been, he's been up and down. I don't, I really can't tell you what's going on with Kaminga this year. I thought he would have took a, a leap now that Clay was gone, but I guess Buddy Hill filled that role in. Moses Moody, uh, he's a good shooter, great shooter. He, he's one of those guys that can get hot, and he will take a lot more shots because Steph is out of the lineup. And Draymond Green, regardless of the fact how you feel about Draymond Green, he's still a, a positive on the court. Like, he's going to, he might get, he might get somebody ejected. Like, just having that uh, effect, you know, defensively, he's a leader. He's going to have the defense right. Obviously, he has this defense at running at high again when you're second, second, first, first, first in a lot of categories. A lot of great categories, like the main categories, you're pretty much top three in every defensive stat. Better than the Pelicans. Now, I gave where the Pelicans was defensively, but compared to the Warriors offensively-wise, so I said the Warriors were second in points per game. Pelicans are 24th. I said the Warriors are sixth in field goal percentage. Pelicans are 20th. I said the third and three-point percentage, the Pelicans are 19th. The Warriors are second in assists. The Pelicans are 12th. So, yes, Steph Curry is out of the lineup, but it's still kind of the, a juggernaut. Offensively and defensively, this is a great team, regardless of the fact. Regardless of the fact that they're missing two Hall of Famers, basically, with, with Klay Thompson now being on the, the Mavericks, Steph Curry. But it's still, when you have a, a Hall of Fame coach like Steve Kerr, and a team that just knows how to get it done, like a franchise, a steady franchise that knows how to give a great product like that, they're going to be a hard out regardless of the fact who's stepping on the court. Regardless. Regardless. Regardless of how you want to look at that, they're still, if Steph Curry's not in the lineup, it's still not an easy game. It's still not an easy game. The Warriors know how to win. They know how to win. They know how to win. So that comes down to Zion, Brandon Ingram, C.J. McCollum. Jordan Hawkins too, because now you're you're getting a lot of you're getting a lot more tick, my boy. You're getting a lot more tick, and 
Fun fact, Jordan Hawk is averaging 18 points a game right now. I told y'all, if the Pelicans want to be successful this season, Willie Green got to let the reins off him and let him go, and he let him go. I think he's going to let him go all season. So this is all about Brandon Ingram, CJ McCollum, and Zion Williamson, specifically Zion. All right, it is time for Zion to, to shake off the rush. You've had two games. Trying to shake off that rust, need an efficient game. Zion has been inefficient the last two, because he only played two because he, he missed the first game. He's been very inefficient. The first game against Portland, he was inefficient, but he still affected the game at multiple angles, defensively, rebounds, assists. You know, if, it, if he's going to be in that point guard role again tonight and Wednesday, he needs to be more efficient. And I think Willie can help him out by implementing more ways to get him the ball other than having Zion at the top of the key and just barrel his way into the paint. You know, find ways to already give him the ball down low in the post. Let him do a little post spin or hit his little midi with his little left hand, man, a midi little fadeaway. You know, it's on them. It's on them. How, it's on them. It's on the leaders of this team how they approach these next two games. Because this, I'm going out right now saying this is a must win. This is a must win. You cannot. Split or lose both games to the Warriors without Steph Curry. You have to win both. The, you have to win both these games because these are the games that later on, as the season goes on, you're gonna look back and be like, "Damn, they dropped two against the Warriors with no Steph Curry early in the season." And now you're wondering why you're two games out of a certain spot because you dropped two games earlier against a, a Western Conference opponent without the best player, a couple of the best players. Man, Melton's a good uh, rotational player. Andrew Wiggins is a starter. Wiggins is a you've seen him in the finals against the Celtics back in the day. Back in the day, Lord, have mercy. Back in the day. But, yes, you cannot. It's a must win. Let's say must win. Pelicans cannot play around with their food. Come out there, punch them in the mouth. It's an it's a NBA game, so you can't expect, like, just to step on them from the jump. You, it happens occasionally, but it's basketball, especially professionals. There's runs. There's always going to be runs, regardless of the fact. Regardless, of, these, these guys are still getting paid millions of dollars to score the basketball. So it will be runs, but... Find a way to weather the storm and get this done. Simple as that. There's no need to even dive into any more analyticals and whatnots. And what it, it's simply as rebound. You have to rebound. Stop Buddy Hill. Zion, make your shots. Stop being inefficient. It's time to shake the rust off. If you, you're forcing the paint, it's okay to shoot a midi. You have that. We've seen you shoot it multiple times. It's okay to shoot the midi. Brandon Ingram, keep doing what you're doing. Keep shooting your threes like you've been, you've been playing. Like, I have no complaints about you. CJ, you've also been playing extremely well. I have no complaints about you guys. Zion, it's time for you to wake up, man. It's time for you to wake up. And these next two games are for you. Perfect. There's no Steph Curry. Go get it done. Simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Go get it done. So I'll drop this video as soon as possible for you because they play tonight at 9 p.m. on TNT. National televised game. Damn, why I didn't say that earlier? This is a nationally televised game. It's on TNT tonight. TNT. The, this is the last time you're going to see this crew. This is one of the last times Shaq, Kenny, Chuck, Ernie, all of them in the same building, right? Pelicans, you have to win. It's a must win. National televised game. Get some, you can earn some respect. It's no curry, but you can earn some respect tonight. So, damn, I should have spoke about that earlier. This is a national televised game. That's important. That is important. But, yes. Get this video out as soon as possible for you guys so you guys can tap in, get your, get your info, know what's going on. Tomorrow, we right back at it. Got to see them again at 9 p.m. again. Well, 9 p.m. our time. I don't know what time it is out there, like 7 p.m., whatever, in, in uh, San Francisco. So, all in all, thank you guys for sticking in for another episode of the Pelican Scoop. Like, comment, subscribe. I am your host, Jordan Kitchen. Hopefully, I ain't even going to say hopefully. No, the Pelicans will win. They will win. No, I, and they don't, I will come back tomorrow and be like, well, I, okay, whatever. I'm guaranteeing it. Pelicans will win tonight. So thank you guys for staying in. If you're locked in with me, I'm locked in with you. I'm out. Peace.